So in today's video, we are going to look at live stream resolutions. Now, before you stop me and go, well, hey, I just shoot HD and well, I do most of the time too. But what we're gonna look at is comparing HD upload versus ultra HD upload. So welcome to the show. My name is Ryan and thank you so much for joining. We are this channel. We like to focus on technical things and just seeing how we can just up our, our um, quality of our live streams as much as we can. So I'm gonna run through how we've done this test. So I've got a test pattern, um, which is going through an ATEM Mini Extreme and going into my laptop. Unfortunately, my desktop was playing up a little bit, so I couldn't get um, OBS to work right on this machine for some reason, but going into my laptop. And so it's a HD source going in and we're going to render it and output it in either HD or Ultra HD. Now, if we've got an Ultra HD system, that's great. But what I just want to do an apples to apples comparison of going, this is what a HD source coming in, just converting it to HD on, on the way out. That's how we've done it. The only thing, we, literally the only thing we changed between these two videos is the stage and the output resolution of OBS. So we'll jump right into it. We're gonna have a look at these videos. Now, I'm gonna put these videos into the description below because I'm watching a YouTube video and then recompressing it and uploading it to YouTube again. So this is, you're not gonna see much difference uh, in terms of the video you're watching here. Um, but I'll explain some of the things that I'm looking for when I'm looking at these comparisons. So thanks to Aaron um, Parecki for uh, making these uh, test patterns. They're super helpful, especially for this kind of thing. So you can check out his YouTube channel there. Um, and also I have a link to, so you can download these for yourself. So what we've done is we've got a HD live stream, just doing a standard RTMP at 10 megabit. So 10,000 kilobit. And the same thing again at Ultra HD, both of them are H.264, so the same compression and 10,000 megabit as well. Um, so you can see here, we've only got HD available for this stream. Um, and I've also got a video, um, like a live concert style video. Um, so you can see a bit of movement because obviously test pattern is one thing, but we want to see how faces look. We want to see how, what, once there's a lot of movement in the shot, how that looks as well. So we will compare probably these two shots. I find it interesting. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of detail in the shot. There's some lights, there's a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of bright and dark. So if we compare the two here and you're best to have a look at on your machines in full screen and compare them for yourself. Um, so this one is coming in at 4K and this tab here is coming in at HD. But even if you do so AB compare, the, the detail on the faces and just detail in general is just a lot higher in this 4K. And even if we go down to HD, um, they're, they're pretty comparable. But the way I look at it is this is this is a, a free upgrade in terms of quality for the end viewer if they have a device that will watch 4K. But there's a lot more a lot more and more devices that are doing that these days. Uh, even on a 1080p monitor, if you full screen it on your on your desktop, so long as your internet speed can su uh, support it, it'll upload it. Um, it'll upload it at 4K and even bounce up to 4K as well, and it just gives you a better quality. Now, unfortunately, if you're doing a uh, live stream that is at low quality or at um, ultra low quality, the, those two, uh, you're not going to be able to get 4K. So at the uh, ultra low, sorry, not low quality, latency. At the ultra low latency, you will only get up to HD. So if you're doing a stream where you can only, uh, where you're looking for real-time interaction, it's not going to work for you. But if you're doing a stream where latency doesn't really matter, if you're doing a live event where there's no interaction, it's just broadcasting the event, this is really helpful for you. Um, you can use the middle tier of latency. Now that will give you up to 1440p and that'll give you about 10, 15 seconds worth of latency. But if you just do the normal one, which is 20 to 30, depending on all the factors, this is where you'll get your, your 4K setup. So yeah, check out the videos below. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and in my last video, I was talking about uh, frame rates. So check that out up here. Hopefully that helps you as well. But yeah, ultimately here in the channel, we're just trying to figure out ways of getting better live streams and just getting better events in general. So I hope it helps. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button below. I'd love to uh, have you part of the team. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.